Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician and the fitness insomnia. This channel is for you. In this episode, we're gonna look at a success story. We're gonna see how Adobo 1970 got past paradoxical insomnia and how the insights we can learn here, which are really, really good, can help you get past any insomnia. Hi there, extra excited having you back here as we're gonna look at this success story from Adobo 1970. And a special shout out to Meev, who actually today asked about, uh, you know, kind of a, a success story, a story about somebody who has gotten past paradoxical insomnia. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to read two comments, and these are comments on Talking Insomnia number 17, where, uh, where uh, Adobo in 1970, a week ago, wrote the, the following. Chronic insomnia is rough. The symptoms you have reported are the same symptoms I have had. And if you listen to Talking Insomnia number 17, Grace describes a lot of this paradoxical insomnia, feeling like she slept almost nothing and, and just, you know, couldn't really explain why she doesn't feel sleepy and she still is able to function, etc. Now, these are the exact same symptoms that I've heard read others with the chronic insomnia report. From your perspective, I can see you think things are weird, but for me, they were exactly the same. For me, anyway, I fully recovered from chronic insomnia, so I'm fully over the paradoxical insomnia. And so as I read that, uh, I, I asked uh, Adobo 1970 for some more um, insights and, and said, what uh, made you, you know, what was really helpful to you getting past insomnia? And listen to this, this is, this is pure insight here. This is so, so good. Um, the eureka moment came when I realized that absolutely nothing had to be wrong with me to have all these chronic insomnia symptoms, including paradoxical insomnia. Like the person in the podcast, I never had sleep issues prior, but then when I developed chronic insomnia, all of a sudden, all kinds of strange things were happening to me. But after my eureka moment, it became obvious that these symptoms were part of my hyper monitoring and being hyper alert. In any case, the clinician treating me told me, to paraphrase, CBTI is the magic bullet for chronic insomnia. And all the hyperanalysis and seeking out underlying neurological conditions that may have caused insomnia was not going to change the treatment choice and really was only negatively affecting my ability to, to sleep. When I trusted that following CBTI principles diligently would make me sleep better, in time I became less hyper alert and hyper monitored less which helped me sleep better, which helped me become even less alert and monitor less and then sleep better again. I realized chronic insomnia was nothing more than a Chinese finger puzzle. The harder I tried to pull against it, the more trapped I became. And conversely, after implementing some basic changes in my sleep routine, the less I tugged, the less chronic insomnia had a grip on me. Over time, I eventually became free from the trap all together. This entire comment is just, again, it's just filled of insight. Everything is so, rings so, so true to me. Uh, the part uh, uh, where Adobe 1917 realized, uh, the, the, you know, there's nothing wrong with me. Nothing has to be, the, 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 there doesn't have to be anything like wrong with you for you to have chronic insomnia and paradoxical insomnia. That's super important. And also kind of the general, I think the general message we hear here is that the more Adobe 1970 was like monitoring, um, trying to figure out what was happening, etc., the more stuck uh, he or she became in their insomnia. So um, really don't have much comments on this. I, I want to I encourage you to read these comments uh, on Talking Insomnia 19, uh, Talking Insomnia number 17 by Adobe 1970. Just like read it through yourselves and and uh, and try to like try to like apply it to you. Try to apply it to you. The more you can feel like you're not uh, what's happening to you is not unusual. Many other people have done it. Uh, have have had that. If you can do the same thing Adobe 1970 did, you will get better as well. So hope this was helpful. And uh, as always, if you have a question. Leave a comment or email me, daniel at insomniainsight.co, uh, daniel at insomniainsight.co, and uh, I'll be back with more tomorrow. Until then, take it easy.